Hello everyone, this is Funnelzone. Today, Bucket has released 1.7, uh, 0 or 0.2 um, server software, and it's working and it's stable. So, we're going to go and download it, and this is a better tutorial which I will make. So, create a folder named server or just server test or something if it doesn't work. Then we're going into uh, to Bucket.org. Then you will go into the science for recommend builds. Click the li click recommend build 953. So this will get updated. The link will be uh, in description, and I will update the link. But you should also check yourself sometimes because I don't want to do it all for you. Don't want to update the links all the time. So now we're gonna jack this craft bucket snapshot into our server folder. Now rename it, delete the uh, dash uh, 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 dash snapshot to just craft rack, craft bucket. And now we got that, so we can close this. Now we will go, we will go up to the search button and search for crafty, just like that. The link will be in the description. So, so we click the first one. It's gotta just gotta wait a little bit. The bucket form is a little bit laggy. So we go to the front page. Come on, come on, come on. There. And now we click download Procrafty. And now open the Renoir file. Then we're gonna drag these two files into a server folder. Remember, crap, this will not work, these will not work as this is an interface and it will not work if if you haven't renamed it the server software just to craft bucket. So we're gonna run the bat file and as you can see it has detected some errors because it hasn't been loaded once. And if you don't have a server uh, interface um, when you run craft, craft bucket it will not it will not show up. So and that's why we got crafty here. And remember to close stop and exit. It will close the uh, process for ja Java and all that, so it's more safe. And if this doesn't work, as uh, some reported in the last video of 1.6, then just run the crafty.jar. I don't know what he created this, just just from memory, but I think it's the same for a jar file. Whatever, just use whatever you like. And now we got that on placed, and so we can go to and download Hamachi. So you just download it and install it. So we got that. Uh, you can do it yourself. So you'll go up here and click this button, and then go up to network. If you're if you're hosting the server from your computer, then you're gonna create a new network, and then you can call it whatever you like, Minecraft, Tset, something, and you're gonna set a password. Like that, something, and then you will, and then you can also set access, like do not set new network members, approve all new members manually, so you're gonna approve them, and you can also um, require a password to join the network or just uncheck that, so you just join. Uh, and when you need your friends to join this network over Hamachi, so they can join your server, so you need to click join an existing network. So they gotta type in Minecraft TZ and these needs to be cap caps caps locked and the password is just you know join. You own this network and I'm already a member of it. So now we got our RP. Now we can close this. Remember, stop and exit. Now we're going into the server folder and go to the properties file. And now we will fi we will find this uh, server IP. We're just gonna edit this a little bit. False, love flight, true, whitelist false, uh, spawn animals online mode true, low nether false, and world level name all that stuff. And now the server IP. You're just gonna type in your how much IP, 52.31.204. Save and now you run crafty again. 
it should work if you run the jar file. If it doesn't, then just, you know, just, just run the bat file. Now we got that. And if you wonder what, how much it does, it will port forward your router manual, uh, automatic. If you want to do it manually and not have Hamachi, because it's a little bit, uh, use a, a little bit of the network where you're hosting, uh, you just go to portforward.com, which will be in the description. They will learn you how to port forward your router, if you got the password and all that stuff. And now let's just test if, if everything works. So we're just going to copy the address here. Address here, I'm just going to copy it. Log in. So we're going to wait a little bit. In the meantime, we can get some if it won't log in. So that's the problem. Yeah, it does. Come on, come on. And now, just going to paste this code uh, and it's logging in. So here we have a fresh new world and it's all working. So this is our Minecraft bucket server. So what are we going to do now is to get some plugins. Every server needs a plugins. Just for fun. So you will go up to bucket.org and click get plugins. Now you can just search for uh, grief, grief protection and everything up here. Like anti-griefing tools and all that stuff. But I'm just going to uh, get magic carpet just to show you how to uh, get that magic carpet there. So we click that and they can get updated sometimes and sometimes they don't work um, on these latest builds but I'm not sure if it does work but we're just gonna test. Download version 1.5 so we got this jar file sometimes it is well, magic carpet and now we're gonna put it into our server folder which is the plugins folder Plugin folder and server folder. And now we got it here. So now you just gotta restart your server if it was online. If it wasn't, just turn it on. And you can of course create a shortcut and add a, what it's called an icon for it. And as you can see, it is enabled. So we should go to multiplayer, log in, and use MC. If we can't, but we can. If we couldn't, we can just um, add ops. So that's basically how you install plugins and all that stuff. Very easy to do. Very easy to do. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you a lot better than in my other video. I explained everything to you. If this doesn't work, just one. Um, if this doesn't work, the bad file, just run crafty jar file. So I hope this helped you a lot. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.